Let's talk about the latest update on Pi Network. Especially we will talk about the KYC Open Mainnet. Although some of the users don't want to see the Open Mainnet this year. What is the reasons? Even we will talk about 52,000 Pi tokens and stake it. In order to contract the developer. Okay, and then we will talk. Also have other news about the Pi Network. Amazing news I just found in this video. Pioneers, I need you all to watch my video to the end. Don't skip any part of the video. Please drop Pi Network to the moon in the comment box below. Share this video with everyone and don't forget to like this video. Okay, now let's get started. So the first update is about the KYC. The number of pioneers receiving KYC has increased. So have you received KYC? So as you can see here, you have been selected to start the identity verification process. So what is needed to receive your Pi? Of course, if you did not complete your KYC, you cannot get your Pi coin. You cannot migrate it to the main net wallet. You cannot transfer it from one wallet to another wallet. So in Q2 we will see lots of development about the KYC. For those users the KYC is stuck. We will see amazing development. Developers will solve that problem even with the migration. So let me know in the comment section. Have you received the KYC or so? Because lots of pioneers. Lots of users just received the KYC invitation. So check this one. Before completing your KYC you must know about this. So show your name with validators. During the KYC process, the name associated with your account did not match the name provided on your name. So the name change submitted in the mining application or KYC, the identification documents you provided to validate your identity. Further validation is necessary to process your KYC request. In order to do so, you will need to provide Pi Network with the following concept. So one thing I should tell you. Your first name, middle name, and last name should all match while completing your KYC. Same problem with ICE Network while you're just trying to complete your KYC. Step 2 is your Twitter name with your application name. Both names should match. So the same thing you can see in Pi Network while just completing your KYC. So we collect and display account and personal information, including first name, middle name if applicable, and last name. So for the purpose of identity verification and name validation, as a part of the name similarity appeal process, so this account and personal information data is collected and used by Pi Network to verify the identity of the pioneer, ensure compliance with regulatory requirements, and to enforce Pi Network policy that only real human beings can receive Pi coin. So as part of this process, and to verify the identity of the pioneer requesting a name change on their account, the name validation data which includes your first name. So those miners your name in the Pi application, something else inside the documents, something else. You want to change your name inside the Pi application. So you must appeal to the developers. You must appeal in order to change your name. So this is what you need to do in order to change your name so that your identity even I can say your ID card, even I can say your application, both names should match and then you can complete your KYC. If you remember the first time, in order to contact to Nicholas Kokolis, in order to send a message to the founder, I think we just need to stake about 800 Pi coin. What I think is the exact amount I did not remember. But now you can see the stake price changes dynamically in order to reduce spam and unwanted requests. If your request is accepted, the Pi staked will be returned to you. So in order to send a direct message to Nicholas, to the founder of Pi, you need to stake 52428 Pi coin and then you can send a message to the founder. Once your message is accepted, you can unstack your Pi coin. Of course, you will get your Pi coin back in your wallet. But if your message is not accepted, it means that you will not get it. So this is not a small amount, 52,000. In order to just only contact, only send direct messages to the founder of Pi Network. Somehow I can say this is not fair, because in here you can see 52,000 only. In order to send a message to the founder, even what I can say, it should be free. Everyone should contact the developers, everyone should share their problems, and everyone should just share their suggestions about the project. Why we should just spend this amount of Pi coin in order to send only message. Only message. So let's talk about the open main net. You know, open main net is coming in this year 2024. And then we need to complete three conditions in order to see it. So open main net stretch will be announced when it is ready. We have some work to do before we can take that step. Once we hit the open main net stretch, the firewall currently stopping external access will be lifted and at that stage, 
Nothing will stop external exchange wallets from connecting to our main net. No debt has been announced yet. Once we are ready, everyone will know about it. Of course, now we don't know about that when we will see the open mand because even you can see some of the users, they don't want to see the open main net like you can see in here. So I will be very sad that Pi will be opening very soon because I have just recently joined. I don't want now for open main net. So those who recently joined this application, of course, don't have that much coin, so they just want more time in order to mine Pi coin for free. So they don't want to see the open main net. Because once you see the open main net, of course, on that time you need to purchase the Pi coin because the mining might be stopped. Might be stopped because on that time everyone will start selling and then other users directly they will purchase the Pi coin. They don't waste their time. They don't start the mining directly, they will purchase the Pi coin. So there are some users, those who recently joined this project, who don't want to see the up and money again. Those new miners have a time, like I can say about 6 months to 1 year. You can mine Pi coin, you can receive a huge amount of Pi coin. Just invite your friends and then get the bonus, even continue the mining per day. So this is all about the latest update of Pi Network. I hope you understand this video. I hope you like this video. So share your thoughts in the comment section. What do you think about the KYC Open Mainnet? Even other news about Pi Project? We are going to stop here for now. Thank you for watching my video. See you in my next video.